All right, guys, good morning. I uh, saw somebody do um, a video on electric fences the other day. How he, and he does the movable rope fences. So this is an old, this is my farmer's hack for doing fencing. So I've, I have a long coiled gate spring. And when I have the cows out here, sometimes when they're in heat or they're wanting to, I'm trying to segregate them off and they're trying to go into this barn here, they will, they'll push on the wire and these coil springs get sprung. So it's, it, everything's fine and good until your, your spring gets sprung and then it's just too long. It's too loose. So what I've, what I, my hack I came up with on both ends of the spring I put an aluminum ferrule in there. I crimp it in there. And then I add a length of lightweight chain like you'd use to maybe pull out a Honda Civic out of the ditch. Um, on, a, on the ends of my post, at least for this gate here, I use these little black insulators. And then I drop a uh, grade 5 bolt through the link. And, as, and when this gate gets looser, I can shorten the fence up by one link at a time by just adjusting the bolt and you'll i've never had the chain get broke i have eventually this will get rusty and wear out and then over here on the other side got another ferrule on there and um, occasionally your handles do get busted so you gotta bring out the a hand grinder and grind through the, the lumen fertile but those those are like a quarter piece or less and my whole length of the barn here you got those black insulators with the post and I've, I've been doing this for years it's the best way to do it uh, one of these days I'll change out the feed bunk here and um, the I'll change how I stack the hay. So I go left to right with the bales. And um, if I change the feed bunks out so I can drive in straight in from the front, I can get, probably get twice as many much hay in here because you won't have the dead spots in the top and in the back. This is the barn. We had a snow load from a couple years ago and the whole, whole roof collapsed. Um, me and another guy, we jack the building up um, inch by inch over about two months and then sistered the the trusses up there so cows are looking good my beautiful number 50 my black hearted heifer right there see the black heart on her forehead she, that's her calf right there so give me a thumbs up. You guys have a blessed day.